calling the Federal Communications Commission Office of Chairman Ajit Pai. Hi, Commissioner Pai. This is Charlie Stern from Red Blue Talk. I want net neutrality maintained. Do not overturn net neutrality. The internet is a wonderful, free, and open place. Please don't screw it up. I'm Charlie from Red Blue Talk, and I'm going to talk about net neutrality, which sounds like the world's most boring subject, but it's also a very good example of how politics and government impact your own life, which is what my channel, Red Blue Talk, is all about. So first off, if you haven't been here before, please hit the subscribe button and press that little bell if you're on YouTube, because then you'll get notifications. I post new vlogs on Sundays, and then I do a live stream on YouTube, Facebook Live, and Periscope on Wednesday evenings at 8.30. Uh, also, I like to give and to receive books for the holidays. And so I put an affiliate link up here called redbluetalk.com slash books. It'll take you to the bestseller page of Amazon.com and it'll help support the channel. So net neutrality is what we have today. With net neutrality, you pay your internet service bill, you pay your cable bill, you get internet services, and you can do whatever you want. You want to stream CNN on your Apple TV? Go ahead. You want to talk to your friends in Asia using WhatsApp for free? You can do it. If we overturn net neutrality, and that's going to happen on December 14th, because the FCC is going to take a vote, if net neutrality goes away, the cable companies can separate you from your weekly paycheck faster than ever because they're going to create a package called the streaming package, the Netflix package, the internet chat package. Each one will have a different price, $7.99 for chatting and $17.95 for Netflix. And you want to talk on Skype, only $6.95. And it will become a disaster. It will also have a implication on free speech and the openness of the internet. It's a terrible thing. So I'm going to recommend two specific things that you can actually do about it. Thing number one is to know who this guy is. This is Ajit Pai. He's the commissioner of the FCC. Ajit Pai is a Trump administration appointee, and with his vote, it's an absolute certainty that net neutrality is going to get overturned. So you know what? Let's call him. Here we go. calling the Federal Communications Commission Office of Chairman Ajit Pai. We are assisting other calls at this time, but your call is important to us. Important. Please leave your name, number, and a detailed message. Your call will be returned as soon as possible. Thank you for calling the FCC in Washington, D.C. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, Commissioner Pai. This is Charlie Stern from Red Blue Talk. I want net neutrality maintained. Do not overturn net neutrality. The internet is a wonderful, free, and open place. Please don't screw it up by making it something that the cable companies are going to charge a lot more money for consumers to access. Um, and all that will do is enrich the executives of the cable companies and do nothing for the general public. Thank you. So here's the deal. The reason why net neutrality is, is a, has tremendous social implications is because the Internet was developed by the government with our tax dollars. It was something called DARPAnet. Uh, it was a defense system that was going to basically create a set of Internet protocols that made it very, very difficult to disable an entire network. It was later then commercialized. There's been a tremendous amount of government subsidy that went into it. It's another one of these things, almost like the drug companies, where you get a compound that was developed 40 years ago. It cost 25 cents to manufacture, but you have to pay $40 to use it because it's in the hands of private companies. It's the same thing. So this guy, Ajit Pai, he worked for Verizon. Now he works for the government. When he's done screwing up the laws, he's going to go back to the private sector and make a ton of money working for another one of these cable companies. It's a terrible situation. So the second thing that you can do is 
on December 7th. There's this organization called Team Internet Protect Net Neutrality, and you go to your local Verizon wireless store. They're having these protests all over the country, and you go to the Verizon wireless store. Not that there's anything wrong with the people that work at the Verizon wireless store. I'm sure they're wonderful folks. But it's to send a message to the cable companies, because Verizon Wireless is a tremendous internet service provider, that net neutrality must remain in place. My local Verizon Wireless store where this is happening is in Port Chester, New York, 5 p.m. December 7th. I will be there. All right, that's it for Red Blue Talk this week. We talk about how politics and government impact your own life with a new vlog on every Sunday and a new live stream on Wednesday nights at 8.30, simultaneously on periscope facebook live and youtube um, please subscribe comments below i'll put some links in the description box so you can see some other articles john oliver did a great thing um, right over here john oliver did a great thing about net neutrality and uh, this guy who i really like kyle kalinsky from secular talk does a better job explaining it than i do go check him out have a great week have a good holiday thank you everybody <laughs>